in 2010, um, uh, unfortunately, it passed away from, from ALS, this uh, debilitating uh, disease. I guess, um, I guess people know, I guess, who Tony is and how big of an advocate he was for uh, ALS uh, awareness. But uh, uh, Claudine, maybe you can tell us a bit about uh, the man he was. There was more to Tony. Yes, he was a football uh, player, and, but he was also a broadcaster as well. And he was also a teacher at Dawson. And uh, he really, truly had, before being diagnosed with ALS, had such an impact on people's lives uh, right from the beginning. So when he was diagnosed with ALS, and because of his media contacts, uh, he chose to document his, uh, his progression with his illness to help raise awareness, because he, he really wanted to make a difference. You know, which is, which is so important. That's why it's so great to see, you know, people having fun with, um, you know, raising awareness for ALS. Uh, uh, doctor, uh, maybe I can ask you, I guess, how, uh, where do the funds exactly go and how are they helping um, uh, ALS, the fight against ALS? Well, the funds for the Tony Proudfoot Fund, which is uh, under the auspices of ALS Quebec, are specifically to train students, in fact, post-grad students and master's students to bring some of our best and brightest young science students into the field of ALS. So the mandate that Tony wanted and the one that we respect fully is to use that money to hire basically the brightest from in internationally, from around the world that want to study at McGill in neuroscience on ALS to come here and to work with one of our leading researchers. And the researcher can vary depending on their interest, all focused on finding out the uh, and understanding what's behind ALS. And we're seeing some uh, some photographs of uh, Tony uh, back in his days playing for the Alouettes, and uh, there's been a lot of talk about um, you know football, contact sports, and concussions. I guess I just wanted to ask you quickly about the correlation between concussions and ALS. Well, it was really raised by the football players themselves. Um, I'm sure people realize that this is a. Um, a fact that has been raised um, by a variety of people. Anyone who watched the uh, Super Bowl last year in the States, I think one of the, if I'm correct, it was last year, Cleveland Browns was on the sidelines with ALS. There is a concern that is not yet proven scientifically that this is one of the diseases that concussions can either trigger or move ahead. Um, it's a little bit more complicated than that, as you know. Uh, I'm sure you've covered this on your, shore, uh, your show, the uh, lawsuit in the States. Absolutely. We have a number of CFL players who have gotten and died of ALS, including Tony's roommate when he was playing, who died a few years before Tony did. Okay. And, and yeah, I mean, that's in every sport as well. Uh, yeah. The NHL, uh, I know, is uh, uh, dealing with a, a, a class action suit as well. Uh, yeah. And uh, okay, so this is, this is, this is, we were talking about how fun the ice bucket challenge is, and we love that so many people are taking part. And I love dumping ice water on Joanne's head. <laughs> uh, but uh, we want uh, you, everyone, to take part in this fundraising walk that's next month, right? Yeah, I mean, what's great about the Ice Bucket Challenge is raising awareness for all our events. So we're seeing a spike of people who are getting donations for their walks. We also have a cycling event coming up. But our walk with the Montreal Alouettes is September the 20th at Parc Maisonneuve. Mm -hmm. And again, it gives people a chance to come out, uh, help raise some more awareness and, uh, and funds for ALS. And, and with the society, we, we provide direct services for people living with ALS, whether it's counseling and specialized equipment, um, so we also fund research, so it's, uh, it's really, uh, people are coming out to embrace the cause, so we're really, really happy. All right, well, in in yeah. ALS, the, Canada is one of the leading countries. We have some of the best researchers in ALS in the world, the most funded researchers, and we're currently launching a series of, of grants to actually move that forward into therapeutics, into clinical trials, and ultimately into treatments that work. In the, uh, the ALS Canada has their programs, ALS Quebec has their programs. ALS Canada is launching a $1 million grant program that would bring together the young, the old, the established, and the newbies to really work on ALS for all of us. And you can always go to um, the ALSQuebec.ca uh, for more information on all of this. Uh, I'm sure Tony uh, is very proud of all the work that's being done. And uh, I'm sure you would have had a blast doing the, the Ice Bucket Challenge. Thank you so mm -hmm. much for joining us. Thank you very much. And, um, and, and good luck in the fight. It's a, it's a terrible uh, debilitating disease.